So what's going on in the nerd news today? So the nerd news is that Microsoft has now added a plugin to their Visual Studio Code, which is a free application. So I mean, worth checking out because Microsoft hammers, hammers the dev development tool sets. And it apparently it's a point and click, uh, bing, 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 create a web app without writing code. The point of these type of tools are just a prototype with uh, maybe used to create um, a skeleton of an app. Uh, these point-and-click jobs will not be able to do everything because every job is very, uh, very specific. Every job will have uh, certain capabilities. Typically, when you have these point-and-click tools that promise that you can build an app with no code and stuff, they only work within a very narrow specification, meaning if your app does what is limited in terms of what it does and those limits happen to fall in line with the Microsoft limits, then it will work. But that is super rare. But what you might do is be able to use it to prototype something, put out something very quick, maybe wireframe an app. One thing you have to look at, and they promise that in the listings, but the code is very clean. If the code is very clean, then you might be able to base something off of that, especially if you're doing rapid application development. Everything has its place. Everything has its place. In my career, I've seen how over time, as technologies develop, uh, things that we used to build by hand, we would just drag and drop components, and it continues in that direction, which is a good thing. Now, of course, if you're an old school coder and you're used to building everything from scratch, you're going to see this as an attack on your on what you do for work. But at the end of the day, it's just an evolution of the technology. So I'll give you an example. Back in the 1990s, remember there was no such thing as a date picker in HTML, and there were no components, so we had to build it from scratch. Remember, it was on a project, a very large project, enterprise-level project, and one of the developers spent like a week or two creating a date picker in JavaScript. Now you just add, you know, date, you know, calendar, boop, in HTML5, and bing, 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 Bob's your uncle, you don't have to do anything. That's great. You know, the days of having to, from scratch, have to write a date picker object for your HTML web app was ridiculous. Anyhow, uh, so just embrace it. Understand what's there. That's why I say don't get caught up in frameworks and libraries because those change. What doesn't change is the fundamentals. The fundamentals. The fundamentals of HTML5 and CSS3 and JavaScript and PHP and Python and Java and C Sharp, etc., they haven't changed in years because they're fundamentals. And that technology is pretty well refined. What changes is the version of Angular that you might use or the version of Node that you might use. But again, once you know your foundations in the languages, in the infrastructure that makes up the web tech if you're getting into the web stack, you're fine because to learn the new version of a framework, to learn the new version, uh, the new additions to a language is, is trivial. It's not a lot of work. All right, that's it for today's video. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.